I'm Laura from Garden Sanity, and today I'm pruning drift roses. Drift roses only need one hard pruning a year, and spring is the perfect time to do it. It's super easy to do, so let's get started. Drift roses were developed by combining the best traits of ground cover roses and shrub roses. They're easy care, no maintenance, and they bloom nonstop with gorgeous color. There's at least 10 different varieties in various colors and single or double blooms to choose from. Drift roses aren't meant to grow very tall. They're meant to spread, to drift, thus the name. They don't grow any higher than one and a half to two feet tall. However, they can grow a little bit higher if you don't prune them, but we're gonna take care of that today. They bloom nonstop all summer into fall, and they have a big impact in the garden, whether you use just one to mix in with your existing perennials and shrubs, you plant a bunch of them to mass them together for a gorgeous blanket of color, or you can use them in containers too. They do very well in containers. I have three peach drift roses so far in my garden. I say so far because I'm planning on adding more this year. Drift roses are not deer or rabbit proof, so even with thorns, they can be eaten. I protected mine in winter with chicken wire cloches, which work great. And now that the cloches are removed, I plan on regularly applying rabbit repellents around the plants. Supplies needed are rose pruning gloves, hand pruners or hedge shears, but whatever you do, don't use electric hedge trimmers. You can, but it'll tear up some of the tender stems and you're gonna need to go in anyway with your hand pruners to remove all of those tears. Otherwise, infection could set in. How to prune drift roses. It's easy. Step one, cut them down to six or eight inches tall. It may seem small, but drift roses will triple in size during the season, meaning they'll be back to one and a half to two feet tall in no time. Step two, see if there's any dead stems or canes left and remove if necessary. I found one or two dead stems, like you see here, but nothing major. Step three, are there any crossing branches? Remove those as well. I don't see any, so we're good to go. Step four, what does the airflow look like? Drift roses grow like crazy during the season, so try and start them out with some good airflow to help prevent any fungal diseases like black spot. I have these planted in a windy open spot, which helps. In general, as you see here, once you prune them down to six or eight inches tall, you're done. See how easy this is? Fertilize with an organic fertilizer. I use Rose Tone by Espoma, which is a slow release organic fertilizer. Sprinkle it around the plants and water it in or put the fertilizer down before it rains so mother nature can water it in for you. And that's it. Pretty soon, you'll have gorgeous drift roses. So if you have rabbits around, check out these two videos, which will help you keep them away from your drift roses. Because you should enjoy your drift roses and not the rabbits. Until next time, happy gardening.